Hi guys, it's Monday. I just got done working. I am now getting our cats their tuna every day as a treat. Our five cats split one can of tuna. I don't know if you can hear them in the background, but they're all yelling for it. They seem to know when the work day is over. So I just got done working, took a quick shower, just let the dogs out. Um, it's been kind of an eventful day evening so far. We take the dogs to a, hold on. Here you guys go. Here you go. We take the dogs to uh, this boarding place that we really like that's not too far from our house. Um, and the last time that we took them there, Zaya, the German Shepherd, got so stressed out that she had like explosive diarrhea. So we've been trying to head that off. So we've been feeding them chicken and rice because that's what got rid of the diarrhea last time. So we just thought. Let's just start with chicken and rice as soon as they got home. That way we don't have any issues. Doesn't appear to be an issue this time. So that's good. Um, but now the problem is, Bindi's got this weird cough, which we think it might be kennel cough. She's gotten kennel cough before from being boarded. So we're watching her. Um, they've both been exhausted all day. They've been sleeping most of the day while I was working. So that was good. So I'm gonna cut up some cheese and some salami as a snack and Jeff should be home shortly voila a quick afternoon snack Jeff and I are actually trying to do more um low carb high protein so no carbs so I'm gonna go sit outside with the dogs watch them see what they're so up. yesterday or over the weekend when we went to the wedding I took my hydro flask which I take my hydro flask everywhere and I had left it in the jeep and we had the back seats down to get the dogs and I was trying to put the seats back down. I had put them up and I was trying to put them back down and I couldn't get them to go down. And I thought, what the heck? Well, apparently my Hydro Flask was underneath the seat. I don't know if you can see this. First of all, I did that damage, but then this, you probably can't see because it's a sticker. It's flat. I flattened it. <laughs> uh, so now I'm debating whether to get another Hydro Flask or just go buy something cheaper. This is a 40 ounce wide mouth. So it is actually too big to fit in my cup holder in my car, which is why it was under the seat because I have to throw it on the floor. Um, but I oh will. And then the other thing Jeff recently brought me home from work is this little guy. It says what the duck, somebody at work made these for him. Her name is Tammy Johnson. It's on the bottom. Um, but the really cute part of it, I mean, that's cute, but this is the lid. It's got little ducks. This was a big hit at the wedding with my, um, I guess they're my grandnieces, my sister's, my niece's kids. So whatever that is. And it also lights up in the night. So I put that on there. Look how cute that is. This does fit in my cup holder, so many times I'll take the water out of my hydro flask and put it in here. But this has been on my nightstand at night um, with water in it. I just love this little guy. All right, happy Tuesday. It is almost one. I've had back-to-back -back meetings all morning. It is lunchtime. Um, I'm getting ready to take the girls down to get the mail. Just ate some lunch. And I'm heating up their chicken and rice. So an update on the dogs. No diarrhea. So we decided that anytime we board them, we're just going to start them with chicken and rice right away as soon as we get home. Um, so I think we're going to just try that and ward off any diarrhea um, issues. And then we did give Bindi a dose of steroids last night for her cough. She did cough a couple more times after we gave her the steroids. And I think she um, coughed once this morning, but she hasn't coughed at all at lunch. So hopefully that knocked that out. Um, but I'm going to take them down to get the mail. Got 
the mail. Jeff got a package. There's the rest of it. Mostly garbage. Um, it's so funny how Bendy can jump up in the Hulk now. Um, I don't know if you guys remember back when I was doing Vlogmas back in December. She wouldn't even jump up in there. I had to lift her up. And she's like 65 pounds of dog. So she's not, she's not small. She's small compared to Zay, but she's not a small dog. So, so I've got about another half hour. I'm going to hang out here with them. It's actually beautiful out. It's cool. The humidity has gone away. Um, it's just nice out. I think I'm going to sit outside for a little bit. So I will check back in after work. Trying to get the hummingbird to eat off that ring on his finger. I was standing over there, but I couldn't do it. Right there. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I'm, I've got myself confused because I told you we're only working a four-day week and I keep joking with Jeff. Oh, it's our Thursday. It's our Thursday. It's Wednesday. Um, I just got out of the shower. I got done taking my two-mile walk um, and now I'm getting ready for some meetings at work. So I spent the morning booking some events for our main trip at the end of next month. Um, we're going to go see some lighthouses and then what I booked this morning was a, um, a lobster, like catch lobstering boat tour. Um, it looks, it looks like you go around the island and you can see seals and then you, they check some lobster traps and then afterwards you can go to lunch and pick your lobster and eat lunch and so that'll be fun. And then I also booked our hotel so me and two of my boys are going to a Pittsburgh Steeler game also near the end of September it's gonna be a crazy month um, so I just booked a hotel for that where the games at one we're gonna stay that night and then come home the next day so we booked that hotel and then I did find out last night that my um, my other son got a house he rented a house and he's gonna be moving September 3rd so like I said it's gonna be a crazy month first weekend's booked hopefully helping him move then we have the Steelers game and then Jeff and I are going to Maine so September's gonna be crazy I'm gonna get my meetings done for today and then Jeff and I may run to Menards to pick up some stuff to finish some work in our yard maybe get some dinner I'm not really sure like I said, it's Wednesday, so not a lot going on, but I'll keep you updated. Made it through the work day. It's going on five. Jeff's on his way home. We're going to run up to Menards. And then we are going to go to dinner at, um, it's actually a, a hibachi grill, but um, Jeff loves sushi. And it's the first place we found that he found sushi that he likes. So I'm sure he'll order a bunch of sushi. Um, but I wanted to show you guys some of the work that we've been doing in the yard. So if you remember, we got all this river rock let me see if I can, that we outlined the garden with right there. And we ordered way too much. So we have all of these trees in our front yard. So if you, that's our front door. There's the garden. And then when you swing around, like we have those two trees over there, we have these two trees here, and there's no real like definition. We probably won't do anything with that one. But those two and these two, we thought we would do something like this. So this tree had just a bunch of odd cement blocks around it, and they were kind of breaking and falling apart. So we outlined it, lined it with some, um, ground barrier and then put some of the river rocks there so I think we're going to do the same thing here and then over on those two trees so I don't know kind of like the way it looks and then we are also thinking about um, putting some kind of border 
around the fire pit because every spring we put gravel around it and the gravel as the season wears on and the rain and us it like starts to make its way out so that's the fire pit we put the gravel in front of the benches and this is probably two three feet behind the benches and you see there's gravel and there's really nothing you can do about it unless we put a border so I don't know that may be a next spring project and then we will probably get a new hammock for next spring maybe they'll have someone clearance and then he's got all of these to get rid of that needs to go down to the burn pile those need to be gotten rid of and then that pile over there so we'll probably try to get some of that done this weekend um i think i said earlier ella and carter my two of my three grandchildren are coming up for the weekend i'm picking them up saturday morning around 10 30 11 and then they're going to spend the night saturday night and then i'll take them back home on sunday um so i don't know i know we are going to the fair on friday we might take them to the fair saturday Take them out. Yeah, here's what here's what's left of my dinner. Here's what's left of Jeff's sushi. I meant to get a video of it before he ate it all. It looked real nice. Mm -hmm. I'm a loser. I had a chicken teriyaki bento box, and he had a bunch of different sushi rolls, but I forgot to film it because I suck. Yeah. All right, just got home from dinner. Um, went to Yamoto, like I showed you. Forgot to vlog the food. Still learning, guys. Still learning. Um, but we did go to Menards, and I found... So, I've only been putting... Trying to only put concrete decorations in my yard. Um, just because of the weather and the dogs. And I found two concrete statues. There's this little guy with the bears. So, I put him up front by our other little bear. And then I had one of those concrete plates um, that said welcome friends right up here by the porch and last year when we got all the ice falling off the new metal roof it broke it into a million pieces and I've been looking all summer for something to put there instead and I found this little guy today and I think he is so cute says welcome it's got a pig a cow and a lamb and it's all cement and you can actually see if you look right in the front see those little blue shards that's from the plate i had there so but he's cute so it is about i don't know 7 30 almost eight o'clock uh, like i said we just got home so i am letting the dogs run Got that stuff put away and chilling out. We are gonna watch Big Brother because um, that's what we do in the summer is watch Big Brother. Tomorrow's Thursday, so it's really my Friday. It's the last day of work this week, so I'm excited about that. So we will see you in the morning. Good morning. It's been a long night. <laughs> Jeff just left to go to work. It's like 8.30, we're usually both working, both at work by now. Um, the dogs got up about 3.30. Bindi had actually had an accident in her cage. Um, we're not sure why. So that was about four. Um, took them out. Of course, we both laid back down and, you know, that's futile. He, Jeff got back up at 5.30, let them out again. And then we both finally... Well, I fell back to sleep. I don't know what time he fell back to sleep. My alarm goes off at like 6.45 and he rolled over and said, can you set another alarm for 7.30? I'll just go into work late. So here we are. So I'm sitting outside with the dogs. I'm giving them a couple more minutes to run around. I'm hoping that once we go back in, they'll both fall asleep because they were up most of the night too. So, and then I got to go to work. But the good news is it's my Friday. So this was the last work day for me. So, and Jeff too, we're both off tomorrow. We're gonna go to the fair. 
And then Saturday we pick up the babies. So I'll check in at lunch, um, but happy Thursday. Just wanted to show you, I'm exhausted. Jeff's exhausted. These two are running around like fools. Thank <laughs> you.